Hi guys, welcome back to Chubby Place and today for our PTCGO gameplay, we are going to bring to you an Excadrill deck. So of course this is also another new card from Cosmic Eclipse and it's actually a very interesting card. So what happened is he has two attacks. First attack, one fighting energy, 11 hour tackle, 30 plus damage. If there are three or fewer cards in your deck, this attack does 150 more damage. So this is actually going to be our main attack. What happened is it's a strong one energy attack, you know. You can do 180 damage just with one fighting energy. So this is very strong. It's just the condition is a bit hard to achieve. So the condition is if there are three or fewer cards. So you need to mill your deck very very fast. So basically what we are going to do in this deck is very simple. Mill your deck as fast as possible and just start attacking without thinking so much. So how do you do that? How do you mill your deck fast, right? Okay, first of all we have our second attack of Escadrille. Drill Bazooka do 120, so it's not as good as 180, but it's still quite good because you can still one hit those with weakness of fighting things like Picarom and Basically, all those electric cards and dark cards in their decks, you can still one hit them. And the effect of this attack is discard the top four cards of your deck. So if you haven't managed to drop the cards until you have three or less, then you can just use Drill Bazooka to do a bit of damage and discard more cards from your deck. So yeah, then we have another Pokemon that will help us discard the cards, which is Zepstrika. So the ability sprint one during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. So this is what you want to do every turn. You try to get your Zepstrika out as fast as possible as well. Then discard everything in your hand, draw four cards. Then if you have another one, you can repeat the process again. And here we have Jirachi because we are not going to set up very fast. So we want some Pokemon to help us in the setup. So in this case, we have Jirachi also. And the important thing here will be Fion. So you know Fion, the ability is if it's in your bench, you may use it like an escape rope and return it to the bottom of your deck. Okay, what happens is when you have three or more, three or less cards in your deck, you're just going to deck out very soon. So to prevent you from decking out, you're just going to use this Fion's ability. So Every turn you put your Fion in the bench, use this ability, it returns to the top or bottom. I think at this point it won't matter so much and you draw it and you can repeat the process. So that's more or less what the Fion will do. Then the rest of the cards are just some trainer cards. Also some that will help you in this carding here will be Hapu. Hapu will be our important supporter cards here because you look at the top 6, put 2 into your hand and discard the others. Then it will help you discard your cards faster. Then the rest are just your usual trainer cards. So we have Venture Bear, Great Catcher, Lana's Fishing Rod to help get our Pokemon back since we are going to mill quite a lot. So we don't want to throw some of the important stuff. And here's another way for us to not take out, which is Lily's Spooky Doll. So if this is in the active, you can discard and put it back to the bottom of your deck. And most probably when you are already attacking with Escadrille, it's very likely that your Escadrille will be knocked out the next turn. Then you can just send out your Cookie Doll and return it to your deck before you switch it to another attacker. Or maybe if you need to buy some more time, then you can send another thing. But most probably after that time, you won't be needing it so much. Yeah, and then the rest. Really just extra supporter cards here. Buff fading are actually quite important here because it lets your Excadrill get plus 50 HP. So Excadrill with 140 plus 50 will have 190 HP and it'll be a bit hard to be knocked out. And the best thing is it's not going to be knocked out by Giratina in one hit. So yeah. But yeah basically that's how the deck is. It's a New gimmick, I guess. You need to mill yourself. Of course, you need to be careful if you're going against some deck that can mill you, especially things like Dark Fox with the Gas Lord and the. Uh, oh, okay, we have new ladder. Be gracious. I just saw that. Yeah, especially with Gas Lord and things. But yeah, we'll see how it is in the game. Without further ado, let's do this.
Okay, our first match. Psychic, Dragon, Colorless, and Grass. Wait, is it lost much? But it seems... Okay, our hand is very very bad actually. I don't like sending the Drillable in front. So rather send this then put the escape pod. Because because of the ability then we can take it back later. I think it might be a little executor. Ooh, not even. That's interesting. Never really see that before. The problem is just our hand is quite bad. We really need to try to get supporter next turn. Even Rogue Hope will help us a lot. Oh, at least a Jirachi. What does Noivan do? Okay. Okay, of course it's a Lunex Executor. So, yeah, the problem here is... Just now I think the Lunex Executor was a Dragon type. So I guess we don't really need to worry about the weakness again. We are weak to grass. So if it's a normal Agalor Executor, the grass type, I think we'll have a bit of a problem. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, this is not good. What am I doing? So I guess I'm just going to use this because he sent it, so why not? Okay then, ah, uh, why not? Okay, we are really stuck. This is quite bad. What does this not even do? Interesting. Okay, at least we got a Cynthia. And yeah, I think I'm just going to put the escape pod here. Okay, another drill buff. We don't need Freedom Forest now, but... Maybe. Okay, I don't think he can one hit us also, so... Okay, we drop Hapu, that's quite sad. We really need to try to get our Z Shooter here and we can start to get more cuts. Yep, he can't one hit us, we can't one hit him before we got our 11 hour tackle. So, yeah, we really need to try to get that as fast as possible, otherwise, I just have to buy some time with our Pokidor. Okay, I guess we got a Cynthia. Uh, I think I'm going to put down the Pokey doll. And. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Cynthia here. We need to get a Zepstricker. Okay, yes, we got it. So. We have one Fion died, so I really can't afford to get another one. But I guess we can go for sprint. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to attack, isn't it? I'll have a bit of trouble if I have one on a fishing rod, I really can't drop. There's a trio. Okay, that's good. We didn't actually drop an extra drill there. Okay. 
Okay, is he going to do boom bus? Hmm. Alright. Okay, in this case then... I guess I'm just going for Hapu. I don't want to drop the drill bar because that's important. Yeah, let's just get this. Oh, you might need to wait for another turn. Hmm, should I go for Pion and just kill another one? But I actually don't mind killing this one. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I don't think we can... Yeah, we dropped all our Zepstrika and Blitz also. Now I really want to get the Dribbles out. Okay, but there goes all of our Cookie Dolls. Because... If he got his... Not even out. Ooh. But I think we still have a chance to win this, so as long as we are able to get... Okay, that doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as we are able to get our stars next turn. Okay, meaning that... This Excadrill will be knocked out. Yeah. Alright. Actually fine with me. Okay, I will send out the Poké Doll first because I might want to return it to the deck. And this one and... Yep, definitely can step stricter for... Drill So, two our Excadrill are stuck. And we also have two energy left so... What I know is I cannot drop any energy and I need to get Excadrill from here. Hmm, this is a bit hard. I'd really rather go for buff padding though. I think the buff padding here is quite important. Then I can take two hits from that. Okay. Do we not have any more Hapu? Yep, we don't have any more Hapu. Okay, I guess this is the only thing we have left, but it's okay. Okay, let's see. Is there another buff padding? Okay, no more. So... I think I have to buy one more turn so I can get... Yeah, I want to buy one more turn so I can one-hit his... Elven Executor. So I'm actually just going to pass here... And... Yep, next turn I should be able to attack. So this is a bit hard because... He is playing a non-GX deck, but regardless, I think it's because we can one-hit him and he cannot one-hit us. We're actually in quite a good position here. So, the moment I get my card to 3, which is after this turn, I, can, I just need to use that sugar once. I should be able to do more. I guess the Noivern is quite annoying. Yep, there goes our two Poké Doll, but that's fine. So here, if we zap Shrika, we'll have three. Yep, so that should be just nice. Yep, so of course we have three left. 
I'm going to put the Poké doll here because we can get it back. One one, really? Okay, I need an Excadrill. Okay, we got it. So I guess we are quite safe. This is quite a good match. And of course, I don't know whether he can actually mill us or not. But looking that he can't actually one hit us, I think we are quite in a good position here. I just need to make sure that I don't run out of cards here. The problem is our next escadrille will be one hit. So if we don't get the cards we need. Then we are quite screwed. Okay. I have another Lana's fishing rod. Wait, no, I dropped two of my Lana's fishing rod. Wait, he won't hit us? Oh, it's 140. Ooh, that's quite bad. Yep, so now we just really, really need to hit Excadrill from here. Okay, nope. Then I guess. That's it! Really? Does he know that it actually helps us? I mean, I only have two cards left, but I think I can still afford to do these. Really? But I still need to hit my escadrille. Fifty percent chance! Escadrille! No! <laughs> uh. I'm not sure you're right. If we can hit our escadrille right, we'll be able to win this game. But unfortunately, we lose a fifty percent chance. So yeah. Okay, we have no more attacker, that's really the issue. So if we manage to get our Escadrille just now, we'll be able to evolve the Jubla at the back. And next turn, we can send the Poké Doll to, be, to go back to the deck before sending out my, my new Escadrille. But we didn't get it, so when this Escadrille died, we have nothing to do. We have no more attacker. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate that in this game we have... We have two Excadrill stuck in the prize. And the last one stuck there, so yeah. I guess that's game. Yeah, well played. That's such an unfortunate match. But I guess oh, okay never mind. Forgot. Yeah, I even going to deck up myself. But it doesn't matter, even if we don't deck out, I'll return the Poké Doll, he's just going to hit my Surf Chica or Dribble. Because it's stuck there. Okay, but that was a good match actually. We managed to do quite a bit. It's just that we don't have our extra drill. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if we can have another match. Ooh, it just looks like a Necrozma Malama deck. Something that I don't really want to go against. But, oh well. Okay, we'll see. I mean, I don't think this deck works very well against Malama because we need some time to set up. And yeah, this kind of thing happens. 
But I guess we're just going to play. We just have to play this anyway. No, okay. He stopped with Shadow Box. That's not very good. And that won't really affect us. Since we don't run any Pokemon GX or EX, so the Shadow Box doesn't really matter. Okay, at least we have a Cynthia in hand, but I would rather have uh, Professor Oak's setup. Okay, we'll see. Okay, that's unit energy. Does that mean he doesn't run Oak's? I was about to say, does that mean he doesn't run Viridian Forest? Because I believe that is, yep, still psychic. Hmm, but we are not really a good match with Necrozma. With Ultra Necrozma, I mean. Because if we have our Zepstrika at the back with spell tags and everything, then. They're just a very good target for Ultra Necrozma. Pokecom, so at least we can get a blitz all I guess. Okay, let's check. Now we have three extra drill one stuck in price. That's fine. Okay, let's just go for Cynthia. And Okay, mm, I'll see next turn actually. You might want to go for Pokecom for a Zap Streaker that I can start doing my thing. Okay, is there any cards I need? Not really. Maybe I should just go for my slap. Yep. So there's that. He should be able to start attacking, isn't it? Yep. And we can't retreat our driller just now, so I guess. We just have to hope that he can't retreat his Jirachi. Oh, maybe he doesn't have another Malama. Hoping is real. Otherwise, it'll be very hard for us to put out fights. Of course, he got his two malama. The bench meal doesn't matter. The spell tag. Yeah, I think he really needs to switch on his skateboard here. Now, I'm just hoping. Yep, okay, he doesn't get it. Does he? Okay, I can't really tell. But, okay, I guess just let him charge first. Okay, he doesn't get it, so yeah, that's at least one good thing. Okay. Hmm. I think I can put down a bit stuff. Evolve this. Yep. 
and go for Zips Chica. Okay, let's see if Hapu can get us. Ooh. Damn, this is hard. Everything up here is quite important. But we have two fields, so I guess we can afford to lose one. Okay, I'll just get this first and the bath padding. Okay, let's just... Okay, we can get our Zep Streaker back, so let's just get it back. And escape pod, so... Well... Okay, we have Ramcha back. That's definitely good. Hmm. There's, and there's nothing I can drop for an energy, so yeah, I'm just going to attack. Okay, the problem is I think we have been dropping quite a bit of energy here. Okay, we dropped two energy, I think we only run six. Okay, good thing is, at the back currently, we don't really have anything that is very weak to Spell Tech and Ultra Necrozma. We're going to evolve the Ditto next turn, so yeah. Oof. That's something. Is it just going to Horror House me or something? Is he going to apologize me? Which the funny thing is, my Excadrill won't be knocked out. Oh, okay, I think he's trying to play with the chance that my ex schedule will be knocked up. I actually don't truly really want to put the Jirachi there. Okay, maybe I just put an escape pod here. Because... Yeah, you see the Jirachi is a bit off. The liability. Maybe I should just get another Drilper. We should try to evolve it next turn. Okay, nothing. Okay, Great Catcher is actually good, but not now. I don't actually know what I want to get, but let's just hop through first. Definitely don't need that. Power plant? Energy? Ooh. I've been dropping a lot of energy. I might go for this instead. Yep, I'll go for this instead. So, charge the energy here. Hmm. Since we have only two buff padding, I think I can afford to do that and just drop the Pyridian Forest, of course. Alright. Yep. Okay, what did we drop? Okay, we drop another energy, so we have no more energy left. Okay, we really need to target this Gengar Mimi too, so I really want to use a Great Catcher. Do I drop? 
Okay, no. What? Ah, oh, it was that way. That is interesting. <laughs> that is quite interesting. So you dropped my buff paddy and just knocked out my escutcheon. Okay. Wait, what does he want to take out? My new extra drill? Of course, I mean... But... Look at my hand, it's actually not going to be knocked out. It's just that I can't really retreat it. Oh, is he just going to horror house me? Oh, okay. Of course, he's going to knock it out with Giratina. Catcher here is very important. Oh, definitely cannot throw that. But I guess I have to do it then. Oh, but I have no more stars after this. I have one more. I know I have one more. Wait. Yeah, I have one more drill bird and one extra drill in price. Yeah, I guess I have to do that, isn't it? And the energy here is very important. Oh, but... No, I really have no more energy! If I drop it using Zap Shrieker, I have no more energy to continue fighting. Is but otherwise, wow. But otherwise, I won't be able to knock this out. I have no more great catcher. Yeah, maybe she just. I guess I should just do it. Okay, at least I got a drill bur, but when there's no more energy, it just doesn't work. Maybe I should just buy more time with the Poké doll. But I don't know any way of trying to find my drill bird. Maybe Prof Professor Oak. So yeah, really have no more energy left. I don't have Vana's fishing rod. And yeah. That's basically it for this match. Well, this is hard. Yeah, there's no way I can survive two turns. To attack with this. I mean, if he does, the question is really just why.
Okay, take out the shrine. Yep, no energy. Ooh, every single time this is my problem actually. It's either I run out of energy. I just but basically I just run out of stars to continue fighting. Really? The Mimikyu? Okay. But yeah, I guess this is the problem of this deck. It's just, you know, yeah. Like it's just you have resources that you need, but because you need to mill so much sometimes, you just have to take chance that you don't drop your stuff. Wait, really? What is he going to do? Oh, he's really going to attack with the... Oh, okay, because he's scared, I actually still have another energy. Surprise, surprise, I don't. Two hundred... Oh, okay. Eh? I thought he does Puppy Smasher then. I would still be alive. And... Won't it? Kill him instead? Okay, I have Death Shrieker, it doesn't matter. If you use Puffish Measure and kill the Excadrill at the back instead, right? I'm actually winning. If I'm awake. <laughs> if I'm going to be awake. But, of course, we'll see. I can see that the opponent is playing it safe. Because my Excadrill cannot. Hey, my Excadrill can one hit this. What is he thinking? But if I'm awake, I win! Oh! Oh no! Uh. Okay, uh... Yeah, I just hit the Zep Chica, right? And it's weakness, right? I can just attack, right? Okay, well played. Uh, making sure for the second time that it's weakness. That was amazing. I mean, to be fair, it's just the opponent doesn't know that I don't have any energy left. And he's playing it so safe that he made a mistake. But yeah, I guess this kind of thing happened because you don't actually know what the opponent has. And... I mean, the opponent has to just play it cool. I cannot really show that I don't have energy left, but since we are playing online, it's actually not showing anyway. But yeah, that was actually quite funny. Quite amazing match. <laughs> okay, we'll just go on. Alright, this time Steel and... What is that? Electric? If you're going against Picaro, we are actually in a very good position here. Hitting weakness is... Always good. And the problem with that Pika Rob is because it has 240 HP. So even if we haven't managed to pull out our combo, right? Really? What is this weird of a hand? But okay. We have both all set up. But we have to start with the drill bar. Yeah, so. 
Excadule's second attack does 120, with weakness is 240, and you're just going to one hit pick her wrong. The Raichu and Alolan Raichu, I don't remember though. Oh, what is this? Does mean it close, ma. Interesting. But this dead in in front is so dead. Yeah, the only good thing is he starts first, so. We'll see. Is he going to find another Dedene? Ah, oh, I have no basic. Hmm. Oh, this might be the basic mobile, di mobile deck. Yeah, the problem is we are playing with a lot of bench anyway, so. We might be quite a bad match against this Marvel GX. The only good thing is, really, we actually had this. Okay, let's see if we can get something with Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia for next turn, I guess. Okay, let's Professor O. And another one, another one, another one. Okay, so we have four now. Okay, we have everything here and what is our drill bur? So we have three drill bur and four Esca drill. Hmm, should I go for water tiller? I think it doesn't matter. Maybe I should just must slap him for <laughs> Because it's weakness. <laughs> There's not much I can do with Trilber that is stuck in front and I don't think he has a way to accelerate energy so let's just hope that's the case but he will do 30 times number of each of your opponent's bench so he will actually do 160 Oh that is big Problem is that Dedene is dead Okay, we actually got Pokecom for this, so I'll just get another Excur drill. And Okay, there's nothing that we dropped yet, so I mean I guess I'm going for Death Shaker. Okay, I cannot one hit that Yeah, I cannot one hit this does mean it close my regardless. This is quite Annoying, but oh well. Okay, let's see what we drop. Oh, we dropped the buff padding and the ditto. Alright. Okay, and he one hits our oh, schedule. Okay. So, we need to try our best to actually get. Oh no! Is this the bane of our existence? Yeah, I see the bane of our existence here. Oh, the Duran is really a problem. I guess... Okay, the only good thing is he needs two energies, so... Without DCE, he won't be able to accelerate so fast. We'll see. Okay, that's actually an amazing draw. Should I use the Fion? I'll just use the Fion, why not? Oops. And you're just going to retreat the Pookie Doll, isn't it? But I am going to retreat the Pookie Doll. So... That actually doesn't matter. Should I get... Yeah, I should just get an energy first.
really to Feridun Forest. Okay, what can we get from Hapu? Buff padding? Mana's fishing rod? I guess I'll just do it. We don't need this. Oh. Okay, let's see. Character belt? Not really. Reset stamp? Also, not really. Everything, I don't really need it. I just, I'll just get the two energy. I don't see myself needing the two energy as well, though. This? Hmm. Okay. So... If I zap Shrika next turn, I can draw 8 cards. Shrine. Shrine is good. Now I can one hit this and the first. Maybe I should just take on the research then, but... Yeah, I'm just going to retreat a Poké doll. <laughs> like him, so... And the energy, yeah... One, two, three, four, five. I actually have one more energy and that actually should be enough, so... I guess I have to do this. Yeah. Ooh, actually draw a very good draw, but this is for next turn, so... Okay, probably just can't mill too much, but at the same time, I need to mill quite a bit. If we start charging this, right, I'm a bit screwed. I need to have at least three Pokemon. Three Pokemon on my three cards in my deck. Exactly. Okay, chaotic swell. I think it doesn't really matter. I did. I did enough damage, so I can one hit that necrozma already. Okay, the pokeball goes back, and Manuel comes out. Yep. Okay, now it's just. Oh! Okay, he doesn't have energy. Okay, so we can afford to do this. Alright. Power plant. Uh, doesn't really matter, but I think I can drop this. Do I still have another shrine? Yep, I should have another shrine, right? Okay, wait, I can use it for great catcher. Ooh, I need a sprint, isn't it? Do I have a Cynthia or something? Professor Oak. Yeah, I have one buff paddy and shrine. That is the important part. But I really don't want to drop the buff padding. I mean quick catcher, not the buff padding. Why am I seeing? Does it actually matter? Let's see, is there, is there a way I can thin out? Okay, if I still wish... Oh, I used the Prof Oak. Damn. Ok, 
Okay, let's see. But next turn, I can Hapu, and I will have enough. I don't need to drop my Great Catcher. But that Duran is still a problem. If I... How much damage does it does? 221 hit me. No, I need this two attacker for one more while and one Necrozma, so that's what we are doing now. Okay, I think I'm going to stall one more turn. If this comes out, I'm just going to hit this. This is the this is the biggest threat out there. Yeah, so I'm just going to let my Jirachi out there, so I'm done. Yeah, the problem is I'm really really scared of this Durant. But this Dustman and Kuzma cannot retreat very easily. That's why I'm trying to save the Great Catcher. Okay, is this a threat? Okay, again, he doesn't charge there, he charged on the Dustman Necrozma, so I guess I'm still quite safe. Really? He doesn't kill me. Okay, if I use Hapu now, I have two cards. Yeah, but I need it. Excadrill, I guess we don't really need it anymore. Okay, we have two attackers, so maybe buff padding is more important. Now, nice fishing rod to get my card back. I don't think we need energy anymore, and we don't need this anymore, so. Okay, let's see what we have left. Two fields, really. Okay, down the buff padding and retreat and attack. Yeah, he can't use Jura next turn, so I should be safe. I think we should be able to win this game already since he has the mawile and he can't really use the durant to mill us unless he has something like energy switch which I don't think he should be running in that deck okay of course the mawile comes out if nothing happens then we'll be Ooh, okay that doesn't matter okay if nothing very shocking happens, then we should be able to win this game. Yep! Yep, so that's it. Good game. Okay, that was another good match! Well, we actually managed to win quite a few decks using this even though the giratina was quite funny but yeah well the gimmick is quite you know i think by chance means that you need some luck to actually not drop the cards that you actually need and some cards because some cards you can't actually get it back the moment that you dropped it there so yeah and but otherwise, the Excadrill is a very good attacker. It does 180 for 1 energy, so it's still very good. But the continuity for this deck is not exactly the best out there. <laughs> then the moment you run out of energy, the moment you run out of Pokemon, you just have no more attackers. 
anymore. So yeah, I guess that's all about this deck. Thank you guys for watching. Do subscribe if you want to see more content for new decks from Cosmic Eclipse for now. And see you guys again next time. Bye bye.